Hey YouTube, uh, happy homebrew Wednesday, late on Friday. This is uh, my fifth homebrew Wednesday video. This one's for October 9th, 2013. Like I said, it's late. Today is Friday, October 11th. Sorry it's late, it's uh, just been a real hectic week. I've had two wines that I bottled this week. I also started a, a apple cider from Fresh Apples. And I also started a plum wine, so it's been a real busy week on top of work. So that's why my video's late this week. I did bottle two wines this week. That's uh, my homebrew Wednesday topic this week. I, uh, I've got a blueberry pomegranate ready, and I got it all bottled. And that's the video I'm going to show you, so here's the footage of that. Okay, so here's our blueberry pomegranate. It's all, red, all cleared out. We're actually going to bottle it today. You can see how clear it is. It's ready to go. So we got all of our clean bottles here. We're going to go ahead and sanitize those. We've got them all washed and everything, but now we got to sanitize them. It's going to take approximately 25 bottles to bottle the 5 gallons of wine. So I'm going to do a few extras just so we have them already sanitized. So we're going to go ahead and sanitize those and put them on our bottling tree and let them dry and then while they're drying we're going to go ahead and rack that from one carboy to another just to mix all the alcohol and everything so there's an equal amount of alcohol throughout the throughout the wine before we bottle it. So we'll go ahead and get that going. And I've got a spray bottle here, a sanitizer. We're going to go ahead and take that and sanitize our bottle tree with it just kind of spray it all down so it's all sanitized so once our bottles get put on here you don't have to worry about anything getting back inside those okay so we've got our sanitizer in there we're going to go ahead and just shake that and make sure it touches all surfaces of that carboy And then I've got my plug in my sink here. I'm just going to dump it into my sink so we can use it to sanitize our bottles. Okay, so we're just going to take our bottle, dip it down in our sink here, and get some sanitizer in it. And then we'll shake it around just like we did the carboy, drain it out. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on our bottling tree here. And then we'll just continue that with the rest of the bottles. Okay, so we've got our bottles sanitized and draining there. So we're going to go ahead and sanitize our racking cane here. Just pump it a few times and pump the water through it. Make sure it sanitizer touches all the surfaces of it. We're going to remove our airlock from our wine here. Set that aside. And we'll put our racking cane in there. And we'll put this down here. And we'll just rack it from there down to there to mix it up. Put our tube down in there. Okay, so we've got our racking cane down in our wine and we've got the siphon started. We got it just a little bit off the bottom of the surface so you don't suck up any uh, sediment. You can see that there isn't much sediment there, but if there is any, we don't want to suck it up at this point. And then you want to make sure your tube's all the way at the bottom of your carboy you're racking it into because you want to keep as much air out as you can at this point. So we'll just continue to let that rack until it's all racked off. The foam on the top is just our sanitizer and it'll just continue to sanitize as the wine fills the carboy. As the sanitizer gets to the top, it's going to ooze out the top of the bottle, which is what we want it to do. And then we'll just wipe that away with a towel once it gets on the outside of the bottle. Just letting you know this is okay, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so I took a sample with my turkey baster here, just to make sure we didn't get any further fermentation while it was aging. And we didn't, so it's ready to bottle. We've got it in our second carboy here. We've got it all mixed up. That was the purpose of racking it, was to 
mix it all so the alcohol was even throughout the throughout the wine so now it's ready to bottle oh and we ended up with a 12 percent alcohol on this one okay so we're going to use a new piece of equipment now it's a what you call a bottling wand it's got a tip here on the end of it that's spring activated so when you push down on it it'll let the wine flow through and when you pull it up out of the bottle it'll stop the flow we're going to go ahead and sanitize that and add it to the end of our hose on our on our racking cane okay so we've got it attached to the end of our tube and now we're ready to go put your racking cane down in your wine here and we're going to push this down in the bottle and give it a couple of pumps here to get it started and it's going to fill your bottle up so I just move it down to the floor on the towel put the towel underneath in case anything actually overflows or you drip anything it's just easier to clean up and you need it down lower than your carboy so it'll so it'll flow okay and you just keep it pushed down and it'll keep filling up the bottle and the nice thing about the racking cane is once you get the bottle full and pull the pull the bottle filler out of the bottle it will be the exact right amount for your cork Then you move it from one bottle to the next, and then you just push down, and it'll start filling the next bottle. And then we'll just keep doing this until all of our wine is gone. Okay, and as you're bottling, you want your corks to soak in your sanitizer, so they will be easy to put in the bottles. So just let them soak while you're bottling. Okay, so we've got all of our bottles full of wine now. We ended up getting 25 bottles out of it. So now we're going to go ahead and use our corker and cork them. Just take your sanitized cork and put it in your corker here. Put the corker over the top of the bottle. Press down on both levers until it pops or clicks. And there you go. Now you have a corked bottle. We're going to go ahead and do that with the rest of them. Okay, so now we've got them all corked here. And then we're going to go ahead and put a shrink cap on the top. But we're going to let the corks dry for a couple of days and then we'll come back and do that. I'll show you what the wine actually looks like. I got a clear bottle here. Should be a good wine. Now that we got them all corked, I'm just going to stick them in the box here. And you need to let them stand up right for three days for the cork to dry and seal good. So we'll come back in three days. Okay, so we've got our wine that's set for the three days. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shrink cap them now. I always shrink cap them before I put the labels on just so you don't get your labels wet once you when you're doing this so you just take your shrink top here and you place it over the top of the bottle you just hold the corner down with your finger here and then you just turn it upside down and dip it in your boiling water hold it there for a second and then once I get it out I just take a towel and wipe off any moisture and uh, stick it back in the box here and then move on to the next one until we've got them all done you're not putting it in the water long enough for it to hurt your wine it's just for a second so it won't hurt your wine just for that second and then that's what they look like. Nice professional look. Okay, so here's where I print my labels. I've just got it on the screen here. And then I go ahead and I print my labels off. And then once they're printed, we'll cut them out. Okay, so now we've got the label all cut out. I'm going to use some glue and we're going to go ahead and 
it's just a regular glue stick and we're going to go ahead and uh, put that on the back of there so I go ahead and I just take my glue stick and rub it all make sure you get the edges rub all the back of it there okay, and then I take my bottle of wine and I just kind of lay it in my lap here and uh, I just kind of line my label up here, put it on there, and just kind of work your label on. Kind of hard one-handed here, but we'll get it on there. Okay, and there's a couple of them all done. I'll go ahead and uh, finish doing the rest of those. And now we have a finished product. Now we'll just uh, drink it. So there you have it. That's how we bottle wine and label it and get it all ready to go. Sipping on a glass of Lombrisco. That's a commercial wine. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing and commenting on my videos. Uh, it encourages me to keep doing more. Uh, thanks again and cheers.